Okay, let's elaborate a little bit more on what I went over in the last section. And we're going to go down to here um, and turn off this auto-generate ARP order. So now it's not going to be just stepping through these notes in order. It's not going to be just playing 60, 63, 65 over and over again. Um, we do still have, in fact, let's um, let's make that a little bit more interesting. I'm just going to copy this scale here and put that in there. Um, so now we've got uh, essentially a, a minor scale. We've got 60, 62, 63, 65, 67, 68, and 70, um, which is just a C minor scale. Um, now that's our collection of notes. It doesn't mean we're just going to be listening to the scale over and over again. If we had ARP order, if we had auto-generate ARP order on, it is going to play all of those in order. I've got zero rest turned on. I've still got my same, um, let's just make this a little simpler for the sake of it. Um, so now our ARP rhythm is three beats, one beat, two beat, three beat, one beat, two beat, so forth. We've gotten zero rest involved. Um, if we were to play this, it would just play, you know, note 60 at three, note 60 at one, or sorry, note 60 at three, note 62 at one, note 63 at two, note 65 at three, and so forth. Um, so we would actually have kind of some, we would have interference because there are uh, seven notes here and um, three rhythmic durations. So it actually takes 21 notes for everything to come into phase again. Um, but that's, uh, that's not super interesting. We can play that and see what it would sound like. Not super sexy. Let's turn off ARP order, auto-generate ARP order. Um, with this off again, this ARP order variable kind of comes into play. Again, these are indexes. So as you can see, now we don't need to worry about wrapping because uh, as you can see, our max value is six, which is the seventh index really. Um, and our minimum value is zero, uh, which is our first index. So basically these are, it's playing a range of all the potential indexes that we can. So this is playing the fourth index, which is uh, note 65 with the offset. This is playing the second index really, so note 62, this is playing the third index, uh, the first index, the fifth index, second, sixth, seventh, and last index, and the first. So let's play this and see what happens. So we've got how many, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks in our melody. Uh, we've got an ARP rhythm, we've got a rhythmic figure of three durations. So as you can see, there's not really that interesting in interference because this is going to simply repeat. Um, this is going to be index three at three, index one at one, index two at two, index zero at three, and so forth. So it's going to, every time this melody, we could think of this as our order as, as being our actual um, melody, uh, we're going to repeat this 
order three times. So it's going to, every time this melody occurs, in other words, we're going to be hearing it at the same rhythm. We're going to be hearing three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if we wanted to make this a little bit more interesting, um, let's put an eighth note in here. So this is um, three quarter notes, a quarter note, half note, an eighth note. Uh, so now we've got a rhythmic figure of four uh, rhythmic durations um, interfering with a nine note long melody. Um, so it's going to, now we're going to be, we have to listen to, um, this is going to have to repeat, our melody is going to repeat four times, in other words, before it actually repeats, before it repeats at the same rhythm. Um, so let's listen to that. Anyway, I didn't let it repeat, but you can hear what's happening there. Um, and again, we can insert rest to make this a little more interesting. Uh, let's see, so this was for, let's, um, let's just do something like this. Um, Well, that's redundant. I don't have to do it. There we go. Let's just do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, so now I've got a five note um, rest pattern. So no rest, no rest, no rest, no rest, and one rest. So. Okay, so as you can see, you can uh, you can use this in conjunction with this. You could literally program in that same melody up here and write the notes in the order that you wanted. But this is a way where you can take basic note information and reshape it just by uh, changing the order at which it plays out. Um, so that's the intention of this section here.